And welcome to another uh, Facebook Live. Uh, I'm Jeff Palmer, your host uh, for the Clean Machine Facebook Live channel. And I'm very blessed to have two close friends uh, joining me today. And uh, that is Yvonne and Julian uh, gibson Surrett. They own uh, Dharma Bear uh, Rescue. And um, very dear to my heart that you are um, both uh, into the fitness, both into um, obviously starting your own gym and super fit gym in West Palm Beach, Florida, uh, where they do group training, uh, nutritional coaching, education on a plant based diet and fitness and how that all ties in. And Yvonne is uh, even one of the judges on our world vegan bodybuilding championship. So that's very exciting. Um, let's see. looks like we lost lost them. Can you still hear me? Oh, sounds like we lost the connection. Hold on just a moment. Let me see if I can get them back on here. I may be having to sign back on. Um, so yeah, let me just, uh, t while they're uh, trying to get the connection restored, signing back in. Um, there are a couple that has done amazing work within the uh, plant-based fitness community. Um, been supportive of Clean Machine. Um, they carry our products uh, at the Superfit Gym. And Superfit Gym really focuses on helping people who want to, it's open and inclusive to everyone, but those who are interested in um, adding more plants and trying to get more healthy through a healthy plant-based diet and include that into the fitness regimen, um, really bringing that all together with uh, both um, uh, personal training and group training too. So if you've got some friends that you want to bring out uh, to the Superfit Gym, or if you just want to, ah, here we are. Oh, let's see. There we go. Okay, back. And let's see. Are you muted? If you are, just take your mute off. I'm not hearing you. Yeah, you're on mute. Okay, seems like your mic is not connected. And for those of you um, who are interested in the World Vegan Bodybuilding Champion, Sorry, because of uh, COVID-19 and the lockdown, uh, obviously with all the gyms closing people, we didn't feel people could get into um, prep condition, into good shape in, in time to do the, uh, the World Vegan Bodybuilding Challenge. Hey, you're back. Awesome. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Let's see. Getting a little bit closer. No, we're good. Hello. All right. <laughs> round two. Round Sorry. Two. No worries. I, I totally understand. So, yeah. So, you uh, have both been uh, vegan for a little while. Tell, you know, let's talk about your whole plant based journey. What motivated you to become vegan? How it all uh, began? And, uh, <laughs> And uh, how that led to you starting Superfit Gym and then eventually even going to um, creating the animal sanctuary at Dharma Bear. Okay. Do you want to start? start? Mm -hmm. Well, we have both been vegan since uh, 2000. So this is our 20th. Yeah, 20 years. We actually celebrated um, two days ago um, having Superfit Gym for 10 years. Mm -hmm. It's our 10 year anniversary. We, we've both been into fitness for over 30 years, maybe 32, 33 years in the fitness business, but only the last 20, um, you know, as vegans. Yes. So we actually wanted to uh, to start Superfit Gym 
because we had a gym in the past. We've had multiple, you know, places where we did personal training and then we sold them and I was working in a, uh, Julian was working somewhere else and I was working in another studio because we were like, I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be a gym owner anymore. I just want to work with somebody. I, I want to have less responsibility. And after a while of working in a place that was, you know, with people that were not vegan, they were not on the same page with me, you know, health wise, recommending plant based diet, um, you know, speaking up for the animals. It got hard for me to work in that environment. So yeah. I said, I think it's time for us to have our own place. Also, we like to do um, even before we incorporated officially to have our own rescue, we We've been doing fundraising for, you know, local humane societies and different animal causes. So, you know, get, having our own place again allowed us to, you know, have fundraisers have whenever we want, mm -hmm. you know, not have to ask anyone, yeah. strictly suggest plant-based eating, speak up for the animals without any kind of conflict. So it was, it was, it was hard to kind of navigate around, you know, everyone else being, uh, you know, not like me. So... <laughs> <laughs> that's what led us to have our own place and then once she said Ivan said i want to have what well, i want to have my own place i left my job at the bank and yeah. said okay i stayed for a little bit and i said you know what i, li I like what she's doing i'm going to join in on this so yeah that's how pretty much how it happened yeah and that was 10 years ago was <laughs> 10 years big. ago wow now um 10 years ago that you were probably one of the very first plant-based oriented gems yeah. in florida correct yeah, I don't. I don't really know I, of. I any. think uh, we're like the only. As far as gym. the whole gym, yeah. Uh, I know there's a lot of you know um, professional fitness trainers, right, right? That are vegan or plant based, but right. um, as far as you know, our gym being exclusively, um, like we so, wouldn't have you know other you know trainers in that yeah. didn't that weren't on the same page with us because it would it wouldn't just wouldn't work. So I like obviously. to explain to folks how yeah. vegan this gym is. I mean, there's no leather on anything in this gym. We only use cleaning products that have not been tested on animals. The right. only supplements we recommend, clean, green, lentil, <laughs> only plant-based, you know? So, so we, we, we try to emphasize that it's possible to, to thrive without harming other sentient beings. Right on. See, so that's the main emphasis. Yeah. You can thrive, believe it, you know? So that's and, pretty much our message. Yeah. And you can carry that compassion even one step further with uh, the formation of Dharma Bear. I mean, you've done an amazing job with the education and tying in what a plant-based diet does for your health and your fitness levels, but also that level of compassion, which really is, you know, a, a major part, a major cornerstone of what veganism really means. So talk about Dharma Bear. Mm -hmm. You want to go first? How long have we, when did well, we incorporate? Well, we incorporated last November, but we had, like Yvonne mentioned, we had been doing fundraisers way before that for yeah. um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, first Second Chance. Remember? Yeah, we lots, of, lots of chance. events for Justin Bartlett. Justin Bartlett, right. Or, you know, any, any causes that we could help with, you know, uh, donating uh, monthly to several, oh, yeah. you know, several groups uh, every, um, you know, every month for years and years mm -hmm. through Superfit Gym, like um, different like vegan outreach, yep. mercy mm -hmm. for animals, different outreach groups, as well as, you know, sanctuaries. Right. So we've been doing it for a long for time. For a long time. But, you know, we personally rescue a lot of animals. We've, we've rescued pigs and goats, and now we Peacocks. have sheep. We have, you know, just everybody. Uh, lots of cats, lots of dogs over the years, and we just decided that, you know, we wanted to just make it official. Everyone's like, you should, you should incorporate and do your own thing, you know, have your own thing, just to, to be able to do more. It right. allows us to be able to do yeah. more. So, um, yeah, so like Julian said, it's been since November. November we incorporated. That we incorporated, right? yeah. Last year, 2019, and that made it official. And so so it just makes it easier to, to go out and show folks that we have a legitimate uh, nonprofit here, and we're doing great work. The other thing that we do is that even when we do have, like, the fundraising classes and, you know, every now and then we'll have events to raise funds, we will donate to other sanctuaries around us that, that have a shout out, like they, they have a need and they, they, mm -hmm. they're asking people for help. Then we try to have a fundraiser to raise funds for them. Yeah. You see, so we're actually trying to help uh, all the smaller sanctuaries as well too. And they get neglected quite a bit because the big sanctuaries usually get most of the funds. Yeah. So we're looking, for, looking out for the small guy. Yeah, we try to help our small guys, uh, you know, people locally, friends mm -hmm. that right. have, uh, you know, that are in need, so yeah. There's a lot of need. <laughs> <There's> a lot <laughs> of need. Yeah, uh, that is wonderful. So what was the first animal that came into the fold? Ooh, well, the first rescues that we've had were 
as far as the domesticated animals, we've, we've dogs, rescued tons of dogs and cats. Yeah. Um, and like I said, we've had pigs. Pigs. Yeah. Right now we have sheep and goats. Sheep, goats. <laughs> we have ten cats. I, and wow. we currently just have three dogs. Wow. So uh, you know that's our current. It's a little micro sanctuary, um, but we're hoping to continue to you know to, to grow add on to yeah, that. Yeah. To, like to grow. That. Yeah. We have the space, you know, we'd love to, have to rescue a few more goats and a couple more sheep. Yeah. It would be great, you know. Put some more into our family. Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly. The, the extended family, right? The extended family. family. The, family. the best family. <laughs> so um, how? talk to me about um, being uh, vegan business owners uh, like myself. Um, how has uh, the lockdown and the whole COVID crisis affected you as a gym owner and and talk about what you've done to make it through this uh, tough period of time and what you've done to adapt to the situation to try to make it easier because i'm sure there's lots of other people who are interested in opening up vegan businesses and want to yeah. know hey what did you gain what insights did you gain you know share with me so i can prepare for it yeah, um, yeah. For it. Uh, so, uh, so, yeah. Uh, uh, well i think that we, we have an advantage right now because um, because a lot of gyms, like commercial gyms, you know, people don't want to go into an environment with tons of people. Right. Obviously, they want to be in a place with limited quantity of people. So, you know, our, our place is a personal fitness gym yeah. where we everything is scheduled. We do mainly one on one or partner sessions. So there's only a few people in the gym at a time. Right. And then when we do group training, we've limited. Uh, we used to allow up to 16 people per class. Now we've cut that down to just 10. Right. You know, so we, we limit the, the number of people in here and we just, you know, we spaced, do our best. Spaced yeah. out the sessions a little uh, uh, differently so that we have enough time to clean and, and the sanitize in between, you know. And yeah. just, let's take that extra step to, to sanitize the environment, even though we're, we're cleaning all the time in here anyway. Yeah. But the one thing, Jeff, that I want to mention is that because most of the folks in here are on board with the plant-based diet, their immune systems are really well boosted. I don't think we had one person who tested positive so far, knock on wood, you know, because, you know, you know, they exercise regularly, they eat a, a very, very well balanced meals, they supplement, so they, they are aware and, uh, and, and have the information. So they used it and it right. really helped to boost their immune system. So they were able to actually um, work out for most of the part all the mm -hmm. way through the lockdown, you know, on the one-on-ones. So nobody got sick, knock on wood, yeah. that we know of. <laughs> that's, that's what we're about is, encouraging people to uh through a plant-based diet where a high fiber diet helps create all those butyrates that uh keep our immune system healthy and strong a nice microbiome and uh you know that's where most of our immune system comes from so mm -hmm. that and even fitness itself has been shown to yes, positively yeah. impact the microbiome which again is 70 percent of our immune system is, right. is is right there in the gut so Having a healthy gut is key to a healthy immune system. And of course, the immune system is the only thing that's ever killed the COVID-19, you know? Exactly, that's right, right. right. So, 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 you know, it, it, it always, I am always in wonderment of it, how that's not emphasized more, you right. know? <laughs> it, they don't really mention it that much. I look at the newscast and whatnot. Why aren't they mentioning, you know, uh, more vitamin D or put in some yeah. zinc or, you know, yeah. extra vitamin C or, you know, exercising, yeah. getting out in the we sun. Know, we know why. Uh, you know, yes. Right? <laughs> yes, we do. We know why it doesn't yeah. make money. Yeah, we know. Yes, yeah. indeed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they only make money off you if you're sick. So we're the antithesis of what they want. We're trying right, to get people exactly. to real health, not we're to about not prevention. To prevention. We know where these viruses come from, how they how they begin, mm -hmm. right. how they can be eliminated. You got to stop it from the root. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Not get get uh, you know and have an epidemic and then try to find a little band aid to put on it. Like my mom used right. to say, you got to pull the weed up by its root. Yeah. You know? Yes, indeed. Stop yeah, it at its source. It's gonna come back. Right. No doubt. And then when we look at um, farms right here just this year in March, two farms in um, a chicken farm and a turkey farm, both had H1N1 variations in it, H5N5. So those could have easily swept out and created another pandemic right here from the United States and chicken and turkey farms right in North Carolina and South Carolina. And, you know, it's like, it's here. It's not over there. It's not some foreign mm -hmm. country. It's not right. some conspiracy. It's coming right from the animals. It's in our backyard. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. 
So yeah, absolutely. And we need to we need to look at our food system, how it's causing the pollution, how it's causing these disease states. It's they're breeding farms for bacteria. I mean, what are people are what are people told? You know, social distancing. So what do they do on factory farms? They cram the animals as close yeah. together as possible. The opposite <laughs> of social distancing. Wash your hands. So cleanliness is important, right? They're standing in their own feces all yes. day long. It's a breeding factory for these. It's the exact opposite of what the doctors are telling us we're doing to the animals. And it's no wonder the diseases are being created because there's the perfect conditions for creating a disease. Yes, it's it's a perfect environment for it. It's a breeding ground. It's a super breeding ground, especially when you include the antibiotics that they're using, Mm -hmm. creating super bugs. Yeah, it's just a mess. So um, thank you for all that you're doing in that aspect to, to train people that So there has been a lot more interest, especially I think because of COVID, you know, when, when somebody says, oh, you know, if you don't change your diet, you could die in 20 years from diabetes or a heart attack or a stroke. Yeah. People think, oh, okay, that's 20 years. I'll change before then. Maybe down the road, maybe later, maybe tomorrow. But if you tell them, hey, wait a minute, hypertension and diabetes, it counts for over almost 80% of all the deaths from COVID. They're like, wait a minute, if I have hypertension, it's not going to kill me in 20 years. It could kill me today. Right. Yes. <laughs> you know? uh, and so I think people are still like, oh, wait a minute, maybe I should start taking care of this body a little bit better because yeah, yeah. being ill health is why people are dying from COVID. It's it's not the, the virus that's actually killing people. It's because people are already sick and it's just pushing them over the edge. You know, exactly. I mean, you know one of the things that we tell people all the time is that you have to give yourself a fighting chance. Yes. You know, this planet that we live on has everything that you need to heal yourself. Yes. It, it does. You know, this is you self-healing a machine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> mm-hmm. Holy. And plants are a medicine. Over 60% yes. of all the drugs in the world are come yes. from plants. Come from yes. <laughs> exactly. They are healers. Eat them in their own form and eat them. Uh-huh. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, I don't, know. I'm don't, don't, don't destroy them. Just leave them alone. <laughs> Put them in your body. And that's exactly. it. That's your medicine. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, so obviously, there's been a lot more a surge in plant-based. I mean, we've seen growth, 500% growth in in the last six months in, in plant-based. It's amazing. You know, I posted that uh, even Philadelphia cream cheese is going to be producing a. I mean, we're seeing Kentucky Fried Chicken, everybody, Burger yeah. King. Everybody's jumping on the vegan <laughs> bandwagon now. Um, so there's definitely interest driving that. How have you, how have you seen changes? I mean, it's it's nice long termers like us, 20 years, 35 years vegan, are now starting to see these after it seemed the changes were slow as a snail's pace yeah, yeah. for decades. Uh, but now that it's starting to really roll, how, how has that affected your business? And, and how is that exciting for people who want to get into uh, uh, plant-based or vegan businesses? Well, you know, it's, it's odd because like when you put um, vegan vegan um, coaching or vegan gyms or whatever in the search engine, I think we're the only ones that come up. Yeah. Right? I mean, so. That's really cool. Like, a lot of the clients that we have. So that's how they found us. You yeah, know, they, they were looking for a vegan environment. They, they were mm-hmm. tired of going into the regular gyms where they were telling them, okay, uh, but no carbs and just uh, load up on the chicken. Get into ketosis. And, yeah, get into ketosis. Have some bacon, butter, and eggs <laughs> for bacon, breakfast. They, get on a healthy diet. They understood that that was not working. It was like <laughs> a long-term solution yes. to what to their needs. So this uh, actually people are seeking it out. They're looking for us. Mm. So uh, we just have to make. We just made ourselves more accessible. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I so, think maybe several years ago it was. You know, it was different. Yeah. But yeah, we just forced. stayed the course <laughs> anyways. Like you know, uh, I. Not afraid to, we're out vegans. Yes, I don't want to. Hide. <laughs> yeah. 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 Vegans, so. <laughs> no more clothes. Well, I, it's so it's vegan, true. I mean, I had people say like, "Oh, do you want to like, you know, mention vegan? The word vegan? Yeah, why mention? You it? might scare people away who yeah. want to do personal right. training with you. Obviously, can't like snap our fingers and make everybody switch their diet or switch their heart or their mindset. But you can plant right. the seeds. Well, we're planting the seeds, yeah. and you know, a lot of people just come in to work out with us. They they come right. in for the personal training. But obviously, being uh, feeling the way that we do, we, we wouldn't recommend anything except a plant based diet. Yes. So right. we tell uh, them up front. Yeah, we tell, we tell them, them up front. front. They're like, yeah. you know, how should I eat? Should I do this and do that? I'm like, well, you can. We don't we don't suggest that. You know, we we strictly right. recommend a plant based diet because. Number one, we know that it's it's healthy. 
Mm -hmm. Those right. are facts that it's the way that we're biologically designed to eat. So this is what we're going to recommend for you. Right. You right. know. So if if that's not cool with you, then we would just have to strict, you know, strictly just uh, help you with your fitness training. Right. But when you're ready, and if you have any questions, and and it just, and we keep, we keep yeah, and it just naturally them. comes up <laughs> yeah, you know? because, it, of course, you know, eating is a huge part of you know being your best and looking good and feeling good yes. and having optimal energy. So you know, it just comes up, and a lot and, of times it just sneaks in, like. Someone will come out of the blue after me, just mm -hmm. you know, putting planting all these seeds in their in their head like every minute of their they're, workout. I'm ready. And they're like, hey, <laughs> yes, I'm ready. For the last week, I'm like, no. Nah, but but, but just, Jeff, the best no part, product. the best part yeah. is that when we say to them, okay, why don't you just you know, as a cleanse, you know, just stay away from the animal based sources of, of uh, your food in a quotation, yeah. and just you know, as a cleanse, you know, just stay more to the plant based side, all plant based for a while, and they feel so much better, and they actually have flow. They actually go into the bathroom regularly. They feel better. They, 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 there's a clarity of mind as well, too. They start to think a little clearer. They're like, you know what? I'm not going back. I feel good. So, I don't feel achy. Yes. The I'm inflammation goes well. down. The sleeping better. more so, clarity in my head. I'm thinking better. Yeah. So they'll go, you know what? I think I'm going to stick with this. You know, so we, I like this. It's yeah. a kind of creepy way that we get in. We kind of creep it in there, you know? Yeah. And eventually, they, they, they see the light because they feel better. Yeah. And all yeah. The, the numbers yeah. go down with their blood work. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. They People help have, get off medications. Yeah. They, they lose weight they feel much better mm -hmm. which is you know that you can if you're feeling better you know your health is headed in the right direction you know those pain those aches and pains that you would have had prior start yes. to disappear really quickly and, and jeff when you have someone who initially when they came in this sluggish they can't get through the workout they're throwing up you know because they're <laughs> in such poor condition and then when they when they see themselves improving it's it really doesn't motivate them they're like you know what I got through this workout like it was nothing, and I had a hard time with it. So we have that baseline with them. Initially, you couldn't get through the workout. You had no right. fitness, no recovery. You know, you're right. getting frustrated with yourself. You were overweight. Now look at you. You can train uh, circles around people now. So they, yeah. it really does motivate them. Yeah. You know, we have some people in really, really good shape here. Yeah, so you know, for so. sure it's been a bonus initially. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, man, you know, people might turn away from training with us because oh, you're going to push the plant-based diet on me, vegan diet. Right. But I feel that it actually sets us apart. Yes. It makes it special. We, yeah. we, we don't, you know, you have to eat like this, you know, you right. have to do this, but he's it in there. But it's, I feel that it's our responsibility because yes. we know better yeah. Yeah. to give people the right advice. You know, I'm not going to yeah. condone it because I know that it's not healthy. I'm not going to give you so, a bottle of poison and tell you to drink that. Yeah. You so, know, I'm going to give you some medicine. Exactly. I'm going to you know, tell you, you know, yeah. my my approach, our approach, because we know that it's the right way. It's the ethical way, most importantly for us. More but it's important. also, you know, it's 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 our, it's your health, you know. Right. And so it's a responsibility if we if you know better to do better. So I think it's something that sets us apart. So I'm I'm really happy that we have. Just yeah, I'm, I'm stayed glad we stayed the course because it was yeah. it was rough. If you it lose, was rough in the beginning. Yeah. You know, people or they see vegan on the website and then they turn away. Mm -hmm. You know, that's their 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 choice. But if they yes. come here, you're gonna we're gonna but do our making, best to. They're starting to make the U-turn yeah. now. They are. Exactly. It's starting to make that U-turn. Yeah, yeah. So that's good. So yeah, I think it's always been positive. Yeah, yeah. it's always been. Oh, positive. and you guys, you guys leading by example too. And I think when they look yeah. at you, look at your energy levels, look at your fitness levels. And you know, I, I I'm in the gym all the time, and people come up and ask me, you know, like. Yeah, how do you get like that? And when I say I'm vegan for 35 years, they're like, they don't believe what? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. And, and how old are you? I'm I'm Have 57 years. Have you yet? What? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. I can't believe you're still alive. <laughs> You Where do you get your protein, Jeff? Yes. Oh my God! The same place everyone gets the protein. Only one, one, one species on this planet makes essential amino acids, and that's plants. Oh. I take that back. There are some bacteria that actually uh, make some essential amino acids too. Yeah. No, it, it's amazing, and and a lot of this information is starting to come a little bit more mainstream. Yes. It, it's 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 getting to the point where people are asking themselves, OK, if I follow this standard American diet, I'm going to get the standard American diseases mm -hmm. and I'm going to be on the standard American drugs and go to the standard American hospitals and yes. pay the standard American insurance and then go to the nursing homes and die. That's the path that I have as a standard American. Now, I can 
jump off that bandwagon yep. and start to choose something that is going to greatly change my entire process. I'm 57 years of age, no drugs whatsoever, no pharmaceuticals, no health conditions whatsoever. And I don't even carry insurance. My insurance is my food and nutrition. You you know? awesome. and, and look how much money I say. I, I calculated at one time and in a lifetime, you can save up to close to a million dollars on medical yes, expenses. Yeah. Now that's a million dollars I get to spend traveling the world and having fun. When people say it's expensive on a plant-based diet, I'm like, you don't understand what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, you yeah. Do, the, do the math, do the real math. Not exactly. Math. Well, I think people cling exactly. to things that they hear. You know they'll hear yeah, like, they're conditioned. yeah they're conditioned to think like mm -hmm. oh it's expensive to be a doc to, mm -hmm. be, to be a vegan or, right you know all the little things but if they really um understood it and investigated or research it they'll find like you're saying that it's actually not yes you know right and, and, and of course in favor the other way yeah mm -hmm. And of course, they're the institutions of fear. You know, yes. if you don't take this drug, you will right. get worse. You know, and when yes. matter of fact, a lot of times all you have to do is turn on the television and, and listen to one commercial and have them spending 60 percent of the commercial telling you yes. about the negative side effects, which can yes. include death. And I'm like, yes. really, that's that's your choice for health. Well, first you'll see a commercial for a rib shack. And then right after it, you'll yeah. see a commercial for lowering your A1C. Yeah. Or, you know, uh, Cause? Yeah. Re acid reflux. Yeah. And then another, then another commercial for Arby's, the yeah. meats. Yeah. Yeah. We have the meats, and then another drug. We're, we're always so. in wonderment over that. You're like, look at this nonsense. Yeah, look at this to me. <laughs> look at this. You know, so like, like, you know, see, you get you get conditioned to, yeah. just like you said, think that that's the way. That's That's my life. This is the way that you have choices. You have choices. And it's, so it's empowering energy. when, you know, I hear people say, oh, do I have to? It's like, no, you should put that as I get to eat healthy and enjoy the health benefits. Mm -hmm. I get to work out and enjoy a great physique. You know, exactly. that is that is an opportunity. It's not a right. have to. You know, right. this is yeah, an opportunity yeah, for you to enjoy that. life. That privilege, you know, and exactly. I'm using that keyword because it is a privilege. You know, this gift of life is something. This is the only vessel that we get to travel in for this lifetime. So uh, I say, cool. take care of take it. Care it's of sacred. It. You know, you know. I wouldn't want to. Who would want to put that type of energy, that bad type of energy, in their bodies anyway? You mm -hmm. become what you eat. Yes. You literally become what you eat. Who wants to put that bad energy in their bodies? Yes. No wonder folks are so diseased. This is, you know, I can yeah. understand it. You know, bad energy. Yeah, we got to go one day, but we we don't want to rush it. Right. Like, right. I don't, I and I don't want to go. I don't want to spend the last 10, forever, 10, 20 years of my life in pain. You know, yeah. that that's yeah. not yeah. living. That's right. dying. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Most yeah. people are spending yeah. the back half of their lives dying, not living. Yes. It's very right. true. Just medicated, just kind of coasting through when yeah. they could be thriving and feeling really right. well and doing a lot more with themselves. Mm -hmm. And also, right. you know, for us, I look at it as like, you know, uh, while we're here, we should do as little harm as possible. As little as possible. You know, as That's little harm indeed. as possible. Not just living a long time because you can live a long time, you know, taking 20 drugs and right. getting, you know, as uh, little harm as heart, heart uh, surgeries every time you have a problem. But you know, live a life that's more peaceful but, but Jeff, and healthy and thrive. But Jeff, that's as little harm as possible, not only to ourselves, but yeah. to all the other our fellow the, earthlings and right. sentient beings around us and the environment within, within, in which they live. Because we're destroying their living conditions, you know. We're just going in there and just mowing things down and, you know, mm -hmm. mowing them down. You know, and, and then wondering why, you know, why we have this situation right now with climate change. And then, you know, I could see it. It's very clear to me. But, but for some folks, they just don't see that. You know, the, it's not that the clear. Connection. Yeah, the yeah. connection. Yeah, you got to get those dots together. Yeah, and I think, you know, for me, that's, that's when I changed is... Uh, somebody helped me release pain and suffering for me from release me from a, a really serious depression, chronic depression. And I felt so relieved from that. I said, how, how can I share that experience with others? You know, how do I pay it forward? I was so grateful and thankful that I was relieved from my suffering. I said, my God, I don't want to contribute to anything else's suffering because I know how that feels. Yes, I know yeah. what it's like to suffer and it sucks. And I don't wish that on anyone else or any animal or any other creature. 
And then when I understood, oh my God, I don't have to eat them. I don't have to contribute to that. Then why am I doing it? And not only do I not have to, it's harming me and the animal yes. and the environment. Yes. And then I'm like, okay, there's nothing positive about this entire equation. And, um, yeah, and, and you did that debate, you know, in a logical way, you debated it. You said, oh, and, and in my view, everything is debatable. I, I, whenever I approach someone, I'm talking to them, I'm always like, okay, convince me. <laughs> you know, right. bring me to your side, convince me. Not once has anyone convinced me to go over to eating meat again or anything yeah. that comes from an animal or non human. Right. You know, they, not one argument has been has worked with me. They, they lose the debate every time. Yeah, no validity, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Doesn't stand up. Yeah. And and that's that connection. And I, you know, for me, fitness has always been about a connection with my body, really getting in tune. When yes. you exercise and you see it change, when you see that, feel that pump, when you you know that it's your direct action that is causing yes. a response in your body, and choosing healthy actions creates a healthy response in the body. And and once you get connected to that relationship. You just, it's a, it's a natural propensity to want to say, well, how can I do that for my environment that I live in? How can I do that for the animals that share this planet with me? You know, how can I create a healthier environment and spread this circle of compassion and of, of acceptance and inclusiveness and connection? Yeah, it's, it's so it. empowering. You know, it's like when I hear people say, oh, do you miss? Do I miss harming myself? Do I miss harming animals? Do I miss destroying my planet? Um, no, <laughs> that's not what I miss. Not one second. <laughs> yeah, no, it's so empowering and so uh, it's so great to see so many people like gym owners and clothing makers and food yes, manufacturers yeah. and all doing their part, their own individual things contributing to the whole picture of moving this movement forward it's yeah it's a beautiful thing yes. yeah yeah we've come a long way and it's and it keeps on rolling uh, i'm loving it start the snowball now yeah. <laughs> indeed well so how can people get in touch with you talk about um maybe your links uh, where they can find super fit jim how they can donate to uh to dharma bear if they want to go above and beyond the donations through clean machine well, yeah, I'm super fit, super fit vegan at AOL.com. Well, with super fit, super fit vegan .com, sorry, is the, is the, um, the it's our website. website. And then on Facebook, it's super fit gym. And then on Facebook also, you can, you can reach us through Dharma Bears Rescue. Dharma so, Bears uh, Rescue. You also have a PayPal link there. So if, okay. if it, it'll be great, we, we appreciate anything anyone can contribute to what's the rescue. Because it goes to a great cause. Go on and like the page. Like the page, and Dharma you'll Bears see the Rescue. link right there. Yeah, you'll to see PayPal. the link. You'll see things that we do or events. We're trying right. to plan something for for July. Um, awesome. Now that things are opening up, and um, you know, so we'll be we'll be planning things to help raise money for the animals. Right. But that's uh, Dharma Bears Rescue. Dharma, Dharma Bears on Rescue Facebook. on Facebook, and a soon to be a website as well by the same name, Dharma Bears Rescue. We're still working on that. Yeah. And, and that's uh, with an S, Dharma Bears Rescue, right? Dharma Bears Rescue, yeah. right? And, and to reach us for the gym, it's um, superfitvegan.com. Correct. You can message us there. Um, yeah, you can find a direct information. link to the, web, to the website to us. So you can um, make an inquiry or, you know, you can find all the information, everything that we offer. Yeah, yeah, you can get so my phone number, and uh, everything, and just, you know, reach yeah. out. That's the easiest way. <laughs> awesome. Well, I love you guys. You are two amazing human beings doing so much good for the community. Uh, I can't thank you enough. And, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to handing you a nice check uh, for your donation at the end of this month. So remember, 10% uh, really of you. all your purchases you. through Clean Machine will go to uh, Dharma Bear Rescue this month. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so, you so much. much, Jim. We really appreciate it. We love you as well. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm Ed, by the way, I'm I, I'm out of Clean Greenland team. Okay, I'm, I'm, we'll I'm not happy about it. Oh, sorry about that. It's yeah, like, I, I tell you one all the time. It's the only only protein supplement that I feel like I absorb well. Like I yes. feel like my body changes right away when I don't have it. <laughs> it's a workout. Yeah, yeah I can it. feel the yeah, difference too. It, it will be uh, shipping probably within the next couple of days. So we should have That's it back in, in the warehouse awesome. next week. Very good. Awesome. Very thank good. you so much. <laughs> thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Bye-bye.